and gentlemen and we're right in the middle of the racket horse now. yeah mm -hmm. we, we getting on with it i tell you what we got a lot of video to go over but we got a lot of things we need to talk about so if you do your thing then we'll get started we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> Dear friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KDD voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty. Uh, the Rack and Horse celebration going on right now, that would have been from the 9th through the 14th. Uh, starting time each night, 6 o'clock, Thursday morning, 10 a.m. So that's one thing that people for to remember is the yeah. daytime classes. And then uh, we're going up to East Tennessee for the fall classes. That's the 19th through the 21st. In White Pine, you can call Bill Daltrey, 423-836-3607. Start time Thursday and Friday is 6, Saturday is 5. Judges, Brent Coburn, Chris Pickle, and Roger Varney. i tell you what, uh, what's everybody talking about the, the new rule, which we got today, we're filming on Tuesday. It is the 10th uh, we, from today. When this airs tomorrow, we'll have nine days left. Yes. What have you heard? Really, I haven't heard. Everybody is just kind of keeping it kind of quiet. I don't know. I just I hope I hope for the best. Well, I've made it plain that, and I I truly believe that if we want to survive, we need to. I don't think that rule needs to go into effect. No. Cause I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I feel kind of like uh, just out here, speed limits 30 miles an hour. 
and it changes real quick coming from Shell because it's 40 until you get to the cemetery down here coming from Shelville and then it drops down to 30. My point's this, if they decide to make it 30 all the way out, past lows and all this, if they change the speed limit tonight to 30, you go down through there 40 in the morning, you're speeding. Yes. So that's my feelings about not, not fighting it before it goes into effect, but what really bothers me, Jerry, is there's no rhyme or reason for it because ever, everything we've ever done, including what the USDA did, has done, there's never been any proof that the action device and the pads harm our horse. You, you're exactly right on that. So it, uh -huh. it, it's, a, it's a humane society th from the from the start. I mean, you can read everything the Humane Society yeah. wants, then you read what the USDA is wanting to implement this rule, and it's one and the same. Uh, I've also heard that there's some other industries involved in it too, other equine industries, that uh, they don't want the heavy shoes, so they don't want anybody else to have them either. They don't want pads, so they don't want somebody else to have them. I just, I, I can't understand how. Well, you're going to run a lot of people's livelihood and stuff like that and just involved, and you're going to hurt the horse industry involved. A lot of people don't realize that, but you are really, and I mean, if you can remember 15, maybe 20 years ago, some when the horse industry, when the thing dropped down, you used to go to sale to sell a horse, and you look up and you had three horses tied to your trailer that somebody else. So what's going to happen with these horses when nobody don't have to do it and they just turn these seven guns loose and they run down the side of the interstate and they're doing everything else because they don't have no use for them? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, and, and I'm just being honest. Humane Society talks about everything they do. Well, any time that they go out to help horses, so to speak, if you look, it's not them doing the help. It's local people out, out, that's actually feeding them, taking care of them. The Humane Society just comes in there and say, look what we've done. You know, it's kind of like a lot of people that are members of uh, of uh, nonprofits. Yeah. Anytime their picture is going to be in the paper, they're saying, yeah, look what we did. But when you're looking for the workers, you can't find them. Well, you think about the, the dogs that they catch on the side of the road. I mean, after so long, if they don't get adopted, what they do to them. I know. They, they, the youth they, so you are really taking an a, a, a animal's life away from him. Just because somebody don't adopt them. So what you think you're going to do with all these horses that's running around through here? I tell you what got me bothered more than anything is the collateral damage other than just the horses. I mean, it's going to hurt the horses, and yes. we know that. But it, it's just like we was talking this morning with some people. you got your nonprofits going to suffer. Your vendors are going to suffer. The blacksmith, the farriers, the manufacturers of equine equipment, the tax shops. The trainers. The trainers, yeah, the trainers. The quick stop markets, your motels. I mean, it's it, not just the horse you're talking about. You're talking about collateral damage that hurts a lot of people. And to be quite honest, I don't think the Humane Society could care, you know, they could care less. And the government, some of the tactics they're using, yeah. I watched a video last night of one of the VMOs with a horse's foot between her legs with the hoof testers, and she was squeezing it so hard with both hands that her knuckles were turning white. And I'm thinking, what is she going to do if she cracks the wall of that, that horse's horse foot? You're exactly right. And that happened. If you remember back when Drop the Hammer won 11 blues at the celebration, they kept hoof testing that horse so many times that they cracked the wall. I would have, I would have sued them. I, I, I would have charged them with animal abuse. But we, we've got into a state now where the majority of the people here just wait and see what happens. Well, I mean, if you don't know what's going to happen by now, it makes no difference what happens. It's kind of like people. You know, some people, they keep asking the same question over and over and over again till someone gives them the answer that they wanted in the beginning. And that's the one they believe. 
They don't believe the facts. They don't believe what's put in front of them. They believe what they want to believe. And that's where we're at. We got a bunch of people, especially our government. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed. I really am. I'm ashamed of what we have as the USDA. I look at what they're doing. I watch what they're doing. And if they know they're, what they're doing is not right, there ain't no way that they can not know it. Uh, You're right. You know, it goes back to this in this industry. If you think about it, you take the middle-aged horse trainers like myself. We're too young to retire to get Social Security and too old to run with the young people in a factory to keep up with them. That's it. I mean, I mean, if you think about it, it just... So what you're going to do, and you've been doing this all your life. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, Jerry. They really don't care. Uh, you're exactly I mean, right. They I guess they, they, don't they don't care because the way that they're they doing things, they're, they're telling you that they don't really care. They know what they're doing. Uh, and, and they really, and that, it just, I don't know. I, I get so shook up. And I talk to people, and they say, well, Jerry, can't something be done? And, and I say, yeah. If people would stop waiting for something to happen, and saying, well, we'll just hold off. Like that right there. You look at this video right here, and that's what they're doing now. If you look at it, that woman got her foot in the back of that horse and at the front, yeah. and squeezing at the same time. I know. They, and they, they, they the come same up thing with now. every trick under the book to get a reaction. And we even had one. He's gone now. now. But uh, he would jerk the horse's foot. Yeah. And I, I remember a trainer stood there and watched him and told him, he said, if you think we can't see your, what you're doing, you're dumb. And I mean, but they don't care. When you're checking that horse, that hand in the front, you don't supposed to have number one finger on that horse's foot at a time. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to hold the horse's foot, let it rest. You're not supposed to grip it. You let the horse rest. And then you palpate until that finger, you mash with the finger, the flat of the finger, the ball, not the tip. And they stick that tip down there and grab that nerve. Dr. Mullins has showed it a million times. And they, but they keep right back doing it and keep back the same thing. They keep saying, well, y'all are out, y'all wrong. But they can't prove it. So now they got to the point that they don't care whether they prove it or not. If everybody's going to stand there and let them do it, then we're just going to enact a rule and we're going to take your pad, your action device. We're going to take it all away, and there ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Well, I've told everybody how I feel. Uh, every time we do a victory pass, and I want to thank everybody from North Carolina, you're going to see all the people that decided that, hey, put me in there, the ones that we're running victory passes on, 25% of their cost of their ad is going into a little fund that the only way I'm going to allow it to be spent is for legal action. I don't want to give it to no lobbyist because that ain't doing us any good. We, we're 50 years out here, and we still ain't got nothing. But y'all can send a check to payable to yes for legal actions, and I guarantee you where it's going to go because that's the only way I'm turning it loose. I appreciate everyone that, hey, that participated in this. But I had one call. I got a phone call. <laughs> he, told me, he said, hey. So said, you ain't called me, but I want to run my head. I said, you got it. And I love it. I mean, yes. it, it, the people that really want to save this industry, you, you can't beat them. They're just good people. I had one lady private message me. She said, I just want to help. And, and I appreciate that. It's a good thing to do. But some, some of these people, they seem to think, well, we'll sit back and then here, here's a pet peeve of mine. I'm going to let y'all know if I hurt your feelings, that's just tough. For every one of y'all that sit back and say, I'm not giving nothing, I hope that's what you get, is nothing. Yeah. If, if, if I, <laughs> I, I was talking to a woman the other night, and she said, well, anybody that don't hurt, don't, don't help, don't deserve to, to be tied at a horse show, and I agree. If, if, you, if you can't stand up and fight for this industry, then... Go to another industry. I mean, that's right. If I hurt feelings, I don't care. I love this industry, and I live. That's why I live, eat, and breathe. Is this industry and this horse and stuff like that, you know? And that this industry have done a lot for me in my lifetime and my family, and everybody else's family in here.
Well, it, 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 I don't know. I, I talk to people all the time about it, Jerry, and, and in, in all honesty, we've got a wonderful horse. We had horses showing back to back, which disproves what the people say about them being abused. If you got an abused horse, you ain't gonna be able to show him one night and turn around and show him the you next exactly night. Exactly right about it, that. It ain't gonna happen, and I know it. They know it, but it seems to me like, especially the targeting, you can stand there and watch and see who's leading the horse up there, and you can say, watch what the VMOs do. They're going to go after them That's every right. time. I could sit here and name them, but I don't need to. Everybody knows. But there is one trainer that they target him every time he goes up there. And I, I love the way he responds to them because all he does is smile at them and said, just as sweet, just smiling because he knows what they're doing. They know he knows what they're doing. And he doesn't care, and, and, and I like that. Uh, I, I like that, that the attitude that he takes. Because these VMOs, I'm going to tell you, they... I tell you, these owners that own these horses, you know, I took one horse up to Asheville over there, and before I left, that horse made sure she had fresh wraps, blanket, halter, everything she needed before she went, because she wanted to make sure her horse stayed warm going up there because they knew it was going to get cold. She watched the weather and make sure her horse was going to be hauled just right. Well, they, that, that, they don't think about things like that. They, they think about what the Humane Society of the United States wants, and I'm going to tell you, that's a sick person that falls for the, what they do. That's right. Let's watch some video. This is North Carolina 2023. Now, this is Alabama Jubilee. I'm sorry. we got to go back down there. Got to run these victory passes. Carol Baxter in former line. I like that horse. I like that horse too. I like that horse for a long, ever since he was a young horse. Carol does a good job riding that horse. And when she purchased that horse, that was a good match for her. Hey, she knows how to get it done. Yes. You know, Alabama Jubilee had a good show down there. Oh yeah, they had a real good show. Hey, wasn't nothing wrong with down there. Out right there, Mayor Bill. That horse right there, I tell you, if they have a show, he gonna be there. Hey, hey Kim showed him, and yeah. he got a reserve on him at the in North Carolina. That's another. They showed back to back up there with him. Yeah. So, and this was after the Alabama Some Jubilee. Jubilee. Yeah. And then they want to say our horses are abused. I, I just. Oh, Lord, I just, I mean, it's beyond me. <laughs> right there. I was, pr I was pr proud and happy for Becky. She did great. She done a good job. She really did. That horse looked good, and she, she's a good rider. Oh, she is a good rider. Jerry was happy. Give you cold chills and Becky might for Jerry and Becky might. Right there, Cole Hahn, Ali Joe. Ali Joe always does a great job. I mean, you, it's hard to say anything else about her her riding ability. I mean, every time. Well, she I, works at it. Now she, she does. does. She works she at it. She works at it real hard. I like the I like the grit. She she's little, but she's loud. Right there's a country lineman in B.B. Beasley. I want everybody to know the 25% of these ads going to legal action. I was talking to them in North Carolina. I didn't know they was in 11th grade already. Yeah, them girls are they, smart, they, but they well, are. I mean, they are getting up in age. They get their driver's license. That's why I told them. I said, I remember when y'all showing lead line classes. <laughs> 
it catches up when you quit. It, yes. Yeah, we were talking. I, I was asking Beth about getting them a car, and she, they're going to share the car. <laughs> They're some very smart, intelligent young ladies hey, they're, there. They're smart. Now they that's, are. That's for sure. There's Jimmer's Country Girl. I'll tell you what, that, that marriage is going to get better and yes. better. Look, that mare ain't been beat but once. That yep. was the World Grand Championship. How did you get in the He's just three years old. There's a Super Bowl MVP. Beth could have a garage sale and oh, yes. sell a lot of riding suits that them girls about run, outgrown. They're quite an honor. That horse right there made a great show up in North Carolina. Yes. And that was after she showed down there. Uh-huh. Matter of fact, she showed two times That's right. in North Carolina. Carolina. You're exactly right. And of course, these horses are abused. I want everybody, Lord have mercy. It just makes me mad every time I think about it. Here he is, honor and remember. And he showed in North That's right. Carolina. I know George and Kim are real proud of that horse. Yes. He's a good one. Don't know what else you could ask for. Dan does a good job. Dan does he, he a really good, good job. He does a good string of horses, yeah. too. Ain't no yeah. doubt about it. Well, I believe that once you do your job, we're going to come back, and then we're going to North Carolina. That'll work. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. deserves to live a full life and with your help together we can end hunger join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now what's a tennessee vacation it starts off like any road trip and then boom adventure and thrills everywhere you look which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country music here History there, 
and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Well, we might as well just go ahead and jump right in and start watching a bunch of video because we got a bunch. I'm, I am very thankful to the people for running ads. And right here is one of them. This was a reserve. A King Thane and Bob Adcock was reserved in the amateur 50 and over class. And I want to thank Bob Roach for furnishing the video for these. He does a good job. Kentucky Walking Horse yeah. Club. Wonder why he calls it that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask him, I said, Bob, just cause you're from Kentucky, right here, amateur owned and trained. Now this was a good class here. Yes, but it was a good class. Anytime you see that, you're always gonna see Kenny Smith or Dahlia One. Yes. And Kenny and the Paddock Master took the blue right there. Sophisticating Paul Robbins was reserved. Jose's fame, Dean Rouse. Double Boogie Blues, David Hampton. Ritz Rhythm, Chris Burton. The jazz player, Sabrina Matthews. He's my alibi, Bethany Lackey. Finished out the ribbons. The Paddock Master. I like that name. a good horse. I got a picture of the, it's titled The Paddock Master. Kentucky Derby. <laughs> North Carolina always has a good show. Yeah, they always show, have yeah. a good turnout. And buddy, they, they will get on a good horse but if he starts messing up and others better, they'll swap them yeah, horses. You sure the will. You exactly right. And uh, what I'm saying is, there is no hometown favorite with no. them. <laughs> they want a good horse. <laughs> the Paddock Master, Kenny Smith, for Smith and Har. Doing a little walking. Kenny made a real good show. Yeah, he did. I really like Kenny. He's a good dude now. He really is. All right, two-year-old stands. This was a real good class. Yes. Spotlight on Jose and Bill Calloway took the blue from Bob Adcock. He's all pro, Jimmy McConnell from Pam Betts. Honors Ritzy Man, Tanner Burks. Hawk on the loose, R.M. Kellett. Charlie Woods, Lake Weaver. James Earl Jones, Bobby Bradley. I'm all over, Tyler Balkum. And Mr. Calcutta, Blaze Picard finished out the ribbons. But that spotlight on Jose. Yeah. Pretty good horse, buddy. Hurt the snazzy horse. They had some real nice horses at that show over there. I'm gonna tell you, it, it was. It was. They did. I watched a bunch of them, and they were. Yeah. They are. There were some nice horses up there.
just thankful so many of them ran ads because that's yeah. that right there is to me is what makes everything when you show a bunch of good horses oh yeah Spotlight on Jose, 4G, Bill Callaway for Bob Adcock. I hear Bob in the background. Yeah. Nice horse. It is a nice horse, real nice. Pocahontas and Allison Armstrong and Tyler Balkum won the Pro-Am. I tell you what, now, you can say what you want to. Allison is always willing to help. She always does. Buddy, she don't think she can't ride. I watched her on Twisted with Honors. Uh-huh. I like this horse right here. Oh yeah, they made a good ride. I don't, I don't think they've been beating that pro am. Uh -uh. As far as her and Tyler, I don't. And here's honored in Texas and Bob Adcock. Your amateur five-year-old stallions. I tell you what, Bob's a good one. He's a, he's another that's always willing oh, to yeah. help. But man, he got a good string of horses too. Oh, he got a good string of horses, real good string of horses. Nice horse right there. Smoking and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong, the four-year-old Mary Gildy, buddy. She, she bought her a peach with yeah. that one. Cause he's nothing but fine. Oh, I love that right there. Yeah. And she, she's gonna she end up showing this one a bunch. I'm gonna say so. Yeah, I'm gonna bet you money. That's a good mare. Right here, Twisted with Honors and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. This horse showed twice. Yeah. Now, Tyler showed him, then she came back and showed him the next yeah. night. Yeah. So that, that's something else. Now, they can say what they want to. I ain't buying it. I mean, it's about time people just face the truth. We got an exceptional horse that can be trained. Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. Now, she made a fantastic show. And I mean a good one. That was a big class, too. It was a big class. A bunch of good horses in it. Best military though, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, she's hardcore. <laughs> Get her done. Right here, the medalist in Eli Cunningham. Now this was the preliminary. Yeah. There's another horse that came right back and showed again. Made a real good show. He made two great, I mean, he made excellent real, yeah, shows. Two good shows. Yeah. You know, that's two years in a row he's done that, though. Yeah. He did it last year. He won both of them. 
He went right back up there and won them both this year. He's going to outgrow that 11 and under oh, yeah. class up. You 12 to 17, now this was a good class. Oh, yeah. Quite an honor. Now remember, she just showed in Alabama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this is this horse right here is he's that quite an honor is good now. Yes, he is. Maxine does a good job of showing yeah. him. He's lucky strike, and Aubrey Derrickson was reserved. She's rich in cash. Now, this one showed twice, too. Yeah. He's lucky strike. She's rich in cash. Was third with Dylan Jackson. I am the lady, Alex Luttrell. And Blu-ray, Madison Plemons yeah. finished out the ribbons. See, that speaks a lot. These horses coming back up. Now, of course, she's going to show again. She's going to show back. Yes. And he's lucky Strike's going to be first and she's going to be second. Yeah. Quite an honor. And Max ain't look there. Oh, good. And she's in there with a tough, oh, a tough class. A tough class, that's right. That's what it makes, when you talk about these horses, when you've got them like that, they make everything worthwhile. Oh, yeah. Everything. Quite an honor. She made a well of a show. Now, right here, look at there. Second time this horse is shown. Yeah. Twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong, your amateur lady. When you go to a horse show and you see performance horses in more than once in a three-day right. show. Speaks a lot for the horse right here. This one right here. Final answer, Ali Joe Jacobs. Yeah. Park Performance Youth Winner. Jake also won in the, in the that's adult. Right. So that's another horse that showed more than once. Ali Joe has been going to school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to see in a minute why. She's, she's learning to ride with her legs. Yeah. Amateur four-year-old Marion Gildon. Now, this one, tough class. I sang Dixie, and Jake Jacobs took the blue happy face. Kathy Holland, I'm Charlie Black, Dahlia Smith Har, a poor man's gold, Greg Kaiser, honors jazz queen, Tanya Cummins. <laughs> I can't pronounce that to save my soul. Wagerman, <laughs> Carson Adams. There, Dahlia. Yeah. It was a good class. I tell you what, there was a bunch of good classes yeah. up there. They had a well of a show. I like the crowd up there, though. I'll be honest with you. I, I like, I like their attitude towards good horses. They'll get behind you now. There's Jake. He just bought that mare. Yes. That's a good one, too. I think Richard Linda Goins on that mare. Is that right? Yeah.
They raise a lot of good horses. Yeah, they do. They do now. Mm-hmm. Raise a lot of good ones. Jake's a good jockey. Oh, yeah, Jake's a real good jockey. There he is. I sing Dixie. And Jake Jacobs, your amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. I sing Dixie. Yeah, well, we got a lot of good mares. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of good mares out there. Good thing about them, because they always say you're good when you get hurt. If something happens to them, they can't show no more. They make great brood mares. Yeah. I sing Dixie. I like it. That well. Here's your amateur 15, two and under. Now, buddy, this was a class. Cousin Bob and Jimbo Connor took the blue in this class. A kingpin, Bob Adcock was reserved. Bingo and Dixie, Chuck Ramsey. Knockdown drag out, Caitlin Peeler. He's, hey, here I am, Sherry Bonner. Cash bold and fresh, Carol Counts and sweeps superstar Don Weevil finished out the ribbons. Look going I, there. I tell you, this, this class right here had two, had a bunch of good horses in there. But now them two first place horses was real nice horses, real oh, good horses, yeah. man. I tell you. They are. I tell you what, Jim, Jim Bo Connors is, is, I don't know, he, he's one that you, you, you like to watch him because if you watch the way he sets the horse, he sets the horse like a trainer. That's right. And it really does. That horse is a real nice horse, that cousin Bob now. He's he been a good horse for a long time. That's another horse that showed twice up there. Yeah. Hayden won one class with him and then Jimbo won next class. I don't know. The class with but see that that's the good part about these. Bob, two of his showed twice. That's right. I mean he I just don't I don't know, Jerry. I, I get so upset when people knock our horse. Especially when they don't know. It's like yeah. the post in the comments. They're copied and pasted. Oh, yeah. You I exactly. mean, if you can't make a statement out of knowledge, don't make no statement. You're exactly right. But now. There he is, Cousin Bob and Jimbo Connor. Jimbo made a real good show on that horse right there. He, he kind of, you know, he, in all honesty, he kind of sets the horse like uh, Joe Martin. Yeah. Because he, he looks, I mean, he, he just looks at ease up there. A real nice guy, super nice guy. He gets it done. That's, that, that's what it takes. He loves them horses, too, now. Well, he got a good in there. And right here, a kingpin and Bob Adcock. Hey, hey Bob. When you reserve behind something like Cousin Bob, Bob it, ain't, right. it ain't all bad. No, it ain't. But now he, but that horse showed. The name twice. Bob was popular in that class right there. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this whole, our horse is, it's just, it's an exceptional breed. Oh, it is. And it does. It upsets me to no limit when people knock it, especially if they don't know nothing they about it. They don't know nothing about it. You're exactly uh, right. Well, you better do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. 
The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So... If you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. All righty, welcome back. Well, now we're going to go see the little man wear the roses. Yes. How's that? Mm -hmm. he, he, he tickles me. James called and he said he did it. Yeah. Two years in a row now, he's done it. I tell you what, it, it's something to be proud of because oh, yeah. that little man, Eli Cunningham, can flat ride a horse. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get started. There he is. It's the medalist and Eli Cunningham. He won the championship, Lebanon under champion. Two years in a row, he has done that. So, hey. Get back, look back, and watch what I can do. Well, he's gonna wear them roses. Jack back. I want to thank Bob Roach again for furnishing us the video for this week. There he's got them now. Them, them roses matches oh his his riding suit. That's right. That's why he won. I'm gonna ask James if he told them to go get that color roses. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. He's had his following. Right here it is. I knew it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I did. They've been working with her, riding with her legs as well as yeah. her hand, because she, she, you know, some of these horses, she's little. And fighting some of these big old horses ain't easy. But she was bound to determine she was going to get there, and she did. Switchblade and Allie Joe Jacobs took the blue in the pony class. I watched that two or three times, buddy. Now she put on a show. Oh, yeah, she did. Looking great. Switchblade. But now she's riding with them legs as well as her hands. Yeah. Jake said they've been taking her up to twice or once a week up to Kentucky, working on just that. That, yeah. Here's a king thing again, and Bob Adcock. I'm gonna tell you, it's it Bill Calloway's riding him this time. Oh, yeah. Bob done showed him. I'm gonna tell you, it just for people to say these horses, <laughs> I just can't stand it. It, it does. I want to thank Bob Adcock for his support. A king thing. Right here's your youth 12 to 17 championship. He's a lucky strike and Aubrey Derrickson took the blue. Quite an honor, and Maxine Beasley was reserved. Von Miller, Madeline Smith, Chris Kyle, Jake Jeffers, 
She's rich in cash, Dylan Jackson. And I am the lady, Alex Luttrell, finished out the ribbon. He's a lucky strike, had already showed once too. Oh yeah. So that that's that's what makes this so great. Plus what I can't understand. This is that crowd, Jerry. Oh yeah. That crowd now is. striking Aubrey Derrickson took the blue the 12 to 17 and this was her second time to show that horse that's what makes it so special it really does also says a lot about how well these horses are trained oh yeah you're hey, right hey. They're, they're that close. No, Ralph Derrickson off the crowd. Yep. I don't blame him. Right here, honored in Texas, and Bob Adcock. I'm gonna tell you, Bob showed his horses a lot. Oh yeah, he did. And that speaks a lot for the training barn, the Callaways. I mean, shoot. They put them horses in there like that and show them multiple times. Honored in Texas. Final answer and Jake Jacobs. Now, nice. his daughter's already won once on yeah. this horse. That's real so, nice horse. So he, he come back and won on him. She put the pressure on Jake to perform. Yeah. So she said, I done done it. Now it's your turn to try to do it. Right here is your championship. I'm gonna tell you, they had a big class oh, for yeah, the championship. A good class. Had a bunch of good ones in yeah, there. It was. Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly took the blue for the Jacobs family. Dixie Road and Link Webb was reserved for Joe Barnes. Honor and remember Dan Waddell for Kim and George Lewis and Jose's power broker. Keith Blackburn for Dan and Susan Irwin finished out the ribbons. But on this Saturday night, and I am a Dixie Road fan, big fan. But I'm also a fan of that horse. Oh, yeah. That's a good horse. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna tell you, that was a good class, a real good class. A lot of good horses in there. Top quality from start to finish is what you had. All the horses in that real good. I'd take any of them. RM make a good show. Link made a real good show. All of them made a good show. Keith Blackburn, Dan Wardell, 
Hey, you got column caliber I, horses. I take any one of them horses home with me. Hey, I promise you that. Mr. True Blue and R. M. Kelly. Yeah. For the Jacobs Family Walking Horse Championship of North Carolina. Yep, he look real good now. The crowd likes him. Wearing the roses. Boy, that's a bouquet of flowers, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Good deal. Closed out, and then you drove home, right? Yes. The next mm -hmm. day. Next day. Next day. Mm -hmm. I knew you wasn't going to say it. I drove home that night. No, drove well, the next day. I tell you what, we're going to be covering the racking this week, and it's uh, they're having a good show. Oh, they're right? having a good show. Yes. Jamie, I do want to tell everybody to say a prayer for Jamie Lawrence's granddaughter. Yes. Uh, I talked to Jamie last night for quite a while. He's uh, he he. He's he's just like everybody thought. He he is tore up. Yeah. But uh, he said the his granddaughter is getting better. So just continue your prayers. Yes. A two year old. Uh, and I guess that's a blessing that it happened so so young that uh, it won't have a long lasting effect yeah. on her. And that that's the main thing. But everybody just say a prayer. Say a prayer. She yes. Just continues to improve. So, how many of the nights are you going to be at the racking? Oh, I'll probably go a couple more nights. Yeah, I'm I'm going to go over there and get some more. I got to go uh, watch my buddy uh, Roy Wester show Thursday morning. Yes. He, he, he told me, he said that he was going to qualify Thursday morning, so evidently he's going for the championship. That'll work. So, we'll let him do that. Other than that, the only thing I can tell people is to go to the uh, USDA's website and comment on this new rule because I'm telling you people it's going to be devastating. Yes. Uh, it, it, I just I don't know if it was up to me. I told him the other day I said if I won the lottery we'd be in court tomorrow. Yep. And we would. I'd, I'd do it on credit until I got paid. <laughs> but that's something everybody needs to think about. We're uh, we've only got you know Ten days. Yeah, and by the time this airs, we've only got nine. So it's it's something everybody needs to think about. Other than that, I guess we'll just see everybody at the Rack and Horse Show in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Yes, sir. And uh, then you're gonna be back next week. Yes, sir. You ain't gonna leave. I ain't gonna leave. All right, y'all heard that. He, he he ain't gonna forsake me. He, no. He's gonna he's gonna stand in here and fight with I'm, me. I'm gonna stick it out. <laughs> All right. We'll see everybody again next week with another episode of Water Horse. Everybody be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.